Hi everyone. Thank you for visiting my channel, Claire Taylor Dolls. I'm Claire Taylor. I'm a sculptor and I make my sculptures of babies into art dolls. My dolls are collectible art made for collectors who love realistic art dolls. My YouTube channel is to showcase art dolls I make. I sculpt these dolls in clay and then I mold them and make them into platinum silicone. I paint with my own unique techniques to make them look as real as possible. I root their hair and then I present them here and if you like them you can purchase them on my website. My videos show you how they move, how they can be positioned, and basically how you as a doll collector might want to interact with your doll. I encourage you to like my video, subscribe, and turn on the notifications to know when I upload a new video. Also, share my videos with your friends that might like realistic art dolls as well. I have links to this doll's webpage and more information in the description below. Like the other dolls in the edition, this Ethan, number four, he has a skull that you can feel under his skin, on his forehead, at the, through his hair, but as you go down to his cheeks, it is softer. Ethan number four has painted eyebrows. He has rooted upper and lower eyelashes. He has handmade blue glass eyes. And um, as you can see, his hair is micro-rooted. And he has a cowlick in the front. And he has two cowlicks on the crown and I made him a cute little style where I made the top curly and I think it makes him look really cute. Ethan is a part of a limited edition of dolls. There are six dolls in the edition and there was one artist proof. And um, this doll is number four in the edition. There will only be two more in the edition. And if you go to my channel, you can actually see the other dolls in the edition. They're all here and they all look different. So you might be interested in seeing the others. This Ethan number four has the darkest hair. It's a brown black color. And um, I think it suits him very well. Ethan is painted with many layers of platinum paint to give him a natural looking skin tone. He is matted so he doesn't shine. Ethan has an open mouth. He's a drink and wet baby. He can take a bottle. This is not the bottle that will come with him. This one is just the one I'm using in the video. He can easily take a bottle. He will come with two bottles, one with fake milk and the other that is just for water because I recommend using only water with the drink and wet. Ethan is a drink and wet baby. He has a flexible neck that can turn from side to side. His arms, they're very poseable. He has armatures in his elbows, so his shoulders doesn't have armatures, so he's more poseable. He could suck his finger if he wants very easily. Let me see if I can show you that. Since he only has the armatures in his elbows, he's more flexible, more floppy. He has a firmer chest and he has a soft tummy. He's very poseable, so his legs are very soft. They have no armatures. 
you can put them in you know various positions since there are no armatures in his legs I'm pretty sure he could put his toy in his mouth if he wanted to uh, there was just flopping into awkward positions so um, although it's very soft as you can see I have videos up of the other four Ethans, the artist proof and the first three. I put them in different positions and stuff like that. So you can go look at those videos to see how flexible and you know the type of positions I have put them in before. Since I might not cover all that in this video. Let me show you his back. Ethan has a spine. It's a silicone spine. It still lets him be flexible. Although you can feel it, he is still very flexible. Um, his spine does not stop him from being flexible at all. Still very flexible. And you can see here how he moves. Although you wouldn't be doing your doll like this, I can do it to show you, you know, how he moves. He moves very nicely. So this is Mr. Ethan number four. And um, he's available on my website. You can check the description below for more information. I just thought I would share him here with you. And I guess I'll just go ahead and put a nice little outfit on him now so he can be ready to go home and meet his new mommy. His ID bracelet comes off easily. I make it so that you can just slip it off. He doesn't have to wear it all the time. He will come with that ID bracelet and the bracelet you see on his left arm. Um, that one is removable as well. It has a clasp, so you don't have to worry about the elastic wearing out on it. And um, everything you see here um, that I'm putting on him will come home with him, these outfits. And you can see the outfits in his other videos. They will be included when I send him. But today I'm only going to put one outfit on Ethan. But like I said, you can look at the other videos and see the other outfits that I put on the other baby Ethans. Because they will also be included when I send him home along with these little shoes. <laughs> They're so cute. Like the other Ethans that have already went home, he comes home with a few outfits, bottles, blankets, and some more goodies. I really love making these dolls. I like to see how realistic I can make them. I'm going to continue improving as much as I can to add anything else I see that will make them look even more real. Over the years, I've evolved making these art babies. I started with sculpting and molding art dolls in the 1980s. And over the years, I've used new materials. I started with porcelain. Well, actually I started with cloth dolls, but as far as sculpting and molding, I started with porcelain. And then I went on to the oak clay dolls. And um, then I started making vinyl. I did reborns. And um, now, I, since I started the silicone dolls, I have been working with this medium for a while. I started with the firmer silicone in the beginning though. And I tried to figure out ways to make them more cuddly. I even made a jointed silicone doll um, years ago. Um, I think it was Curtis and Allie. And, you know, that was interesting. 
But then when I found out about this softer silicone and, you know, I'm really enjoying these dolls more because they're everything we always wanted in dolls, you know, for them to be more like real babies, you know, more realism. And they're more cuddly and softer. So I'm really enjoying these dolls. They're cuddly, realistic, and they're really a dream to hold. So I would like to thank you again for watching my video, um, for staying, you know, till almost the end here. And I want to encourage you to like, subscribe, and share my videos with your friends that you might think would like um, to see realistic um, art dolls. And um, I really enjoyed making Ethan. He is unique in many ways compared to my previous editions. He's so poseable, so flexible, so cuddly when you hold him, so easy to pose. And um, I just really enjoyed making this baby. So I'm going to go now. Bye-bye. And I'm going to attach a couple pictures maybe just to show you him in some positions. And um, thank you very much. And click the description below to go to his web page and see more photographs. And share this video with your friends. And thank you again. Bye-bye.